I think that people automatically think that when you sign a deal or some like right, that you <laughs> oh you rich yeah it's like <laughs> what like I'm still in the same spot you know what I'm saying like yeah I got I, I got a I got a bar bro where I said I said the whole world got me up so I'm gonna tell them what's what got enough bucks for my car not to put put mm. but not enough to escape the surroundings that they found me in and around here ain't too fond of it's bound to win. Mm. So that give you everything. I got enough to, I can drive straight. I can got them toss, my kid's good. My mom, she, she all right. You know what I'm saying? I can toss some bread and shit, But like, I ain't got enough to got down just straight up get out the hood. And it's still, you in this space where it's like, you in the middle ground where it's just like, now mm. you, you still around these. Mm. So it's like, now you paranoid. Now you got to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like that. So it's, a, it's, it's pros and cons to it. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. One of the most interesting things about you was your name, but being able to find you. Yeah. This might sound crazy. All right, for sure. Because I, I wasn't familiar, right? Yeah. So when she said grip, I'm like, okay. All right. So I looked you up. But it was like I said, so I'm like Grip the rapper, but it popped right up. I'm I'm think like it sounded like so many people <laughs> yeah. will be named that. Grip, but it was right. like it, that showed me that oh he really official. Yeah. <laughs> like that showed me that I he was the, really official. The easiest thing be like when my was like you got an Instagram or something. I'm just like yeah Grip, and they're just like no oh, that's the IG. Like yeah Grip is like that's the easiest. Yeah, really bro, legit. Like, yeah dog, that's the easiest one. That Google, Google be a little like. You gotta type in "grip" the rapper because yeah, yeah, "grip" yeah, is just a big I mean, that ass makes word. Sense. Yeah, but yeah. but still, like the fact that it even pops up even on YouTube, I'm like "grip interview." Yeah, yeah. pop straight yeah, up. Yeah, pop up. Yeah, I'm like, damn. Yeah, that's good, man. I guess it just just doing more and more of them. Man. That's just how long you been doing it, man? man? I've been signed to Shady since 2020. 2021, I let I, I put out the first project, but I've been rapping way before that, you know. So I dropped pretty much like my first project in 2017. The first critically acclaimed project was like 2019. Okay, and that kind of just like opened the doors. What that shit. mean, critically acclaimed? Like you know, when it's just like yeah, you know, when it's like everybody kind of like hailing it something. You know what I mean? Okay. Like all right, this this like a this the classic or this the best project we heard all year, but just like critic critically acclaimed. Oh, so like okay. you know. So that was like 2019. They called Snub Nose. I seen it. Yeah, that's what, uh, yeah, they got I think the, yeah. Eminem was talking about. They got the like, strap on them. Yeah, they heard that. And it was you know. So, so before that, how long you think you was doing it? Um, I started taking it serious in like 2016. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause before that I wasn't really taking it serious. I was I was a good rapper, but I'd that's just be hard. making shit in the closet, playing it for this fool. You know what I'm saying? We we was staying together, so playing it for the homie and. and or just, you know, started doing open mics and, and just seeing what the scene was like. And then eventually I was like, man, I'm finna just put this, put this out. The first one was called Porch. So I put that down in 2017. And then Jacob Moore with uh, Pigeons and Planes found that. Uh, me and the homies were just sitting around at the crib like, bro, mm. like, what the, because don't we understand, bro? Especially back then. This was before it was like. Ain't no TikTok, bro. Like, ain't no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's you like, had really be you had to figure out, like, how you gonna make this like shape bro so it was like we was like bro we need a splash like we don't know we dropped it it's good you know what i'm saying like this city with it but like i got that got an email from jacob moore bro from mm. pigeons and planes bro and he's like dog i just heard this bro i i'm like i'm shy i don't know who you are did that did that we built a rapport he did a uh he, he uh wrote up some pigeons and planes and dropped that and that was that you know yeah. what i'm saying so Bro, I mean, I feel like I um I mean not do a man a disservice, man. We just got started talking, having great conversations. This is how this is how conversation is supposed to be. Nah, for sure. Uh, J Hill, J Hill podcast. If you just tuned in, we got grip in the building. Um, 
man, super special rapper, like super lyric, lyrical rapper, it still exists, right? Nah, Storyteller. For sure. For sure. Storytelling is is still is still a thing, guys. We I know we in the the midst of like party music and like mumble rap and like, you know, like that, but this guy is super talented. Um I'm just getting familiar with him and I was letting him know that I was like I was doing my research and like I thought the most interesting thing for me was the fact that I could pull up his name and just pop that. That showed me that, oh, all right, you should need to take this serious. I mean, I'm taking you no, serious because clearly I'm doing my I research, but it was like, it. I ain't going to lie, that made me like, all right, all right no, you feel me? Sure. Like, 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 do a little bit more research. No, like, I'm sure. like, okay, I got okay. you, I got you. So, like, I, um, but, yeah, so the you say you started in six, 2016. But you uh, been just, with well, just more start taking it serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I had a kid in 2012. 2012, mm. and and was just like, I don't know, bro. I just ain't never really been in, like that'll just work job, work a job and shit like that, bro. So like, I wasn't taking it serious. I'll be, I'll leave a job, bro. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like get enough bread to just pivot and do, you know what I'm saying? Do something else, do that or not. But I was right. always rapping it, you know what I mean? So then eventually I ran into um, a, a a friend from high school uh, named Two, who's my pretty much my main producer now. You know what I'm saying? So. Ran into him and we started just like locking in and you know what I mean. He making beats and I'm just figuring it out. And then once we figured that out, like the little recipe, we just took it from there. So you know you, what I mean. You, you know, um, I'm always eight. MJ. Turn me up a little bit if you don't mind, just a little bit. I'm the first one. Um, I think uh the most the the intriguing part about it for me is the fact that it's not an overnight success. Definitely, man. Like I feel like nowadays we um. It's like we praising, and I don't want to say praising because I don't want to make it seem like it's something wrong with it. But it's like it's everybody is coming up fast, so that in return makes everybody else want to come yeah, up fast. Yeah. So it makes it seem like if you ain't come up fast, then you ain't got nothing yeah. going on. But like I remember back in the day, like you could, you would have to actually work, right? You know what I'm saying? You had to put some time in, right? You feel me? So it's like, the, the no, that's all good. Yeah, hey, well, we, yeah. <laughs> we professionally unprofessional. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it, it, we professionally nah. unprofessional. So nah, it's all bro. good. Like we all family. This <laughs> nah, for sure. nah, but bro, you right though, and I feel like a lot of times nowadays, you be saying that shit like it's a like it's a a good thing. Like, yeah, such and such just started rapping two weeks ago, and now they it's like, bro, like that shit really be like a slap in the face. But you know, I, mean? I don't be tripping on that. Shit, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, but. Bro, it just yeah, feel dog. good to see somebody. Yeah, bro, put like, some bro, work. You gotta put that, put that work in. We came you know from the, the same club, kind of. Exactly. Like, bro, I just told like, you, like, I just I was doing a podcast like this for two, maybe almost two years, but pause. That, it was years before I could even yeah, bro. get to this spot. Yeah, dog. I so, need. I feel like people need to see that. It be like that, bro. Like, mm. and I feel like the people who who kind of latched on back then and found you back then, like. They still support. You for know sure. what I'm saying? So like, that's the day ones. At least you got some day ones. You know what I mean? So. You know, it's, mm. it's it's good. It's a good and bad with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's no, a good part of it. You know what I'm how saying? How is it how is it treating you? Like, I mean, I guess you said you've been signed to Shady for uh, three years. Like, now. Since, yeah, like 2020, 2021. You know, 2020 don't count. Yeah, yeah. But uh, okay. uh, I had him most of it, like, really, since I popped off, I popped off in 2017. I ain't worked a job since 2017, 2018. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I've been, yeah. it's been full time, but like, was just like with a little bit more of that added, mm. not pressure, but just like, all right, you in the major leagues now, like, yeah, yeah, yeah man, you gotta like, bring yeah. some, you gotta go a little, a little harder. Like yeah, I said, I go was researching, harder, like, oh, I gotta go a little harder. Like, you feel yeah. me? You gotta go a little harder because, like, now you got more people just like whether they stands, the Eminem stands, or maybe they just heard you because whatever, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, all right, now I really gotta got now prove myself every time, so really just gotta apply myself and go hard because I really be lazy. And Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just because rap just kind of come easy to you, but it's like hard work be talent when talent don't work mm-hmm. hard. So like, nice. I just work hard like when I when I need to, like when I know like, all right, bro, like I gotta goddamn step it up or I right. gotta do this or I want this to sound like this. Then I just you know. What since I mean? you've been in, since you've been with Shady, uh, how we be talking about it like before off camera, we be saying how um, you know, the music, the industry for for like a better better words. The the music and the problem is everything that come with it. Yeah, it's everything that comes right? with it. Right. And I was just wondering, like, since you've been with Shady, like how how has it been for you? Um, man, it's been cool, man. Like for real. It's almost like the situation 
Like how how me and my manager set it up is like it's kind of the same, bro. So like we mm-hmm. still just working. I still work with the same people. You know what I'm saying? We got a team that we send it to. You know what I mean? Like after it's done, and you know talk about this shit and just like, oh yeah, well what y'all trying to do? Like for the most part, they just we have creative control, bro. Like they just let us like, you know. So like, a better <laughs> question then. Everybody that 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 you probably came up with, right? Or everybody on the outside, they look at you and like. Damn, yeah. Grip is signed right. to Eminem. He's big time. So what what were some of the, the hard times that came with it that people probably would never even think of? Yeah, I think that people automatically think that when you sign a deal or some shit, right, that you... <laughs> oh, you rich? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what? Like, I'm still in the same spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a bar, bro, where I said, I said the whole world got me up, so I'ma tell him what's what. Got enough bucks for my car not to putt putt, mm. but not enough to escape the surroundings that they found me in. And around here ain't too fond of this bound to win. Mm. So that give you everything. I got enough to I can drive straight. I can got them toss. My kids good. My mom she yeah right. you know what I'm saying I can toss some bread. And shit, but like I ain't got enough to got them just straight up get out the hood. And it's still you in this space where it's like you in the middle ground where it's just like now mm. you, you still around these. So it's like now you paranoid. Now you gotta, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, it's like that. So it's 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 pros and cons to it. You Let's know talk I mean? about that. I talked about that with a couple of people. I think uh, the most um, memorable conversation was with Seti Hendrix or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we was talking about like the middle being almost harder than being at the bottom or at yeah, the top, bro. Because like you in the middle, you gotta be. You worried about not going back. You paranoid about going back. You. You, you frustrated because you almost there. Right. And, like, the doors are seeming like they're opening, but they ain't but just they staying quite opening. opening so it's frustrating. You and then me? you got people thinking, like, looking at you like, man, you should be grateful. Like, you have no idea that I'm going through. Right. <laughs> like, and then my thinking that you can just lend them bread whenever it's like, bro, I got it, but I don't got it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or, you know, just feeling like, oh, man, you should have bought your sister a car. And it's like, bro, come on, bro. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I got to buy my mama a car. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be a used car. If that, so like, Thanks. you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just crazy, bro. But, but you know, it come with it, bro. Like, they ain't like sweating it. Coming up, yo. Uh, first of all, I was curious. You from Atlanta? Yeah, I'm from East here. Atlanta. Yeah, East Side. Yeah, East Atlanta, right? And you, I don't. You probably you had to hear this a lot. You don't sound like an Atlanta rapper. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna say you had to hear that a lot. Like, sure. you sound like you straight from like, I don't like Cali. Like, I hear like uh. I hear Kendrick Lamar a little bit. One of the songs, I literally, I'm like, I heard Eminem. I'm like, this sounds like how you switch it. I'm like, this yeah. sounds like Eminem. I feel like I grew up on M though, for sure. You know nah, what I'm facts. saying? Nah, facts, 100%. And I feel like Kendrick was kind of like a, Kendrick is like a, a bridge that a lot of motherfuckers just like didn't have. Mm. That by the time you kind of like figured out, okay, you see what Kendrick was doing like, he kind of gave the way, like him and Cole for sure, gave mm. the way to like, all right, I ain't got to just be straight up conscious. I can just, I'm going to just tell my story type. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It was a way that the did it that made it. Cool. All right, bet. Now this gets passed on. So that's why they're so important. You know what I'm right. saying? The Kendricks and the J. Coles and even Drake and shit, You know what I'm saying? Like they gave a way for to like bet. Like, because before them, the biggest, uh, uh, Conscious rapper was really Kanye, bro. Yeah. Think about that, bro. Kanye really took it over the edge. It, so he took it over the top. Because before that, it was common. And- yeah, I was about to say it's crazy <laughs> because. And I love common. No, nah, for sure. Like, no, nah, we talking like conscious rappers. I yeah. wouldn't. It's funny you say con- conscious rappers. I wouldn't go to Kanye West. But he is. I would though. go to like Lupe Fiasco. I'm saying, but like. He's but he the is. first mainstream. Yeah, like, he, he is. took it bigger than any yeah. conscious rapper has ever taken it, bro. Right. I just you know didn't think. I think of like I don't know. I don't. I don't think of like street rapper, but I don't think of conscious rapper either. Exactly, that's and that's crazy. a good thing. You know Not what I'm saying? So it's like he ain't had that 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 brand on him. Nah, once facts. you get branded conscious, then it's like it's hard. You, you know. think you got that brand on you? Not really, no, because I'm not conscious. I was just. A with a conscience, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you think that. Does the audience think? It's like we always got an uh, idea who uh, we are. No, nah, I think they just think that, like I'm lyrical and shit, you know what I'm saying? It'd be, it'd be weird though, because like I think Ty Lyrical would just like. So I, I remember once, bro, I had dropped this song called, uh, what it was called, bro? What's it? House. Mm. And it's just about playing house with a 
like, like I'm coming over there at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm a bro. Like, right. I, my listeners, bro, and I don't know what be in these heads, bro. Like, it's weird, but like, yeah, I don't want to hear grip rap about girls. Like, what are you talking about? What you, you want, want me to, they to rap want, about? They want you to rap like a like the alphabet. You feel me, bro? Like, <laughs> cut that bullshit out man you know what i'm saying like bro it's goddamn duality of man like bro we human bro mm. like we should be able to talk about what the fuck i want to talk about facts. as long as it sound hard nah, you know facts. what i'm saying like did it was it was, was i barring up like all right then bro like i'm talking about ass or whatever i'm talking about it don't matter but yeah i feel like a lot of times you try to goddamn put a roof on, on your mm. ceiling on your brother's like you don't know me bro like i ain't Yo, you know what i mean let me act that's crazy do you think people try to do that or we un consciously yeah do that to ourselves nah, I do think, you think so nah i think that people do it bro because dog i don't know i think they just have like this premise when that's why you that's why people label facts because because it's a premise that comes with it right mm-hmm. and that's why comparisons are so prevalent because it's like well who he play like he was like uh okay oh yeah, he, he might like jordan up. All right, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, who yeah, remind yeah. me of, right? Like, who? Because who? that's what I'm familiar with. Exactly. That's what they're familiar with. Yeah, familiarity so then, breeds comfort. Breeds content, yeah, right? Content, so yeah, then yeah. it's like, oh, well, it sound like Kendrick, or it sound like such and such, or it sound like this, or it sound mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I guess with that, they take the other and it's like, well, why, why are they talking about getting ass right now? Like, eh, mm. that ain't talking about getting ass. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm not yeah. that. Bro, like, Damn. you know what I mean? So, like, you know. <laughs> I, but I only ask, is it us, right? I only ask that because, like, like even, like, being in this interview space, mm-hmm. I feel like I, it was a point, we were just talking about it, it was, like, a, a point where I wanted to, like, interview these celebrities, right? Right. And then I started interviewing the celebrities, so I'm like, I need more celebrities. Right. And then I, it got to a point, and this is crazy just looking back on it, I was like, yo, I feel like I put myself in a box on my own platform because my you. guest... All they, all they, uh, waiting for is celebrities, right? right and right, it's like, right, right. Uh, that, like that was really yeah, no, to get the sure. audience. That ain't, I, I, I sure. didn't really, I didn't no, really hear the. I pay, I pay. It was the gain of. That was audience. kind of bringing in, like, all right, but now right. it's like I'm kind of put in the box. But was it the, was it the people who put me in the box, or did I put myself there? That was all right. So in that case, that's like okay, all right. I, it's, it was, it, it's both of our blames type. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? Like I gave the I gave this to the audience. So this is what the audience expected. Mm. Right. So like like and that's kinda why I'm the way I am on like social media, bro. Like I don't like social media like that. I know I gotta be on it, but I ain't just finna be on that much all the time. Right. Because I'm trying to train to train my fans, like, hey man, don't be expecting me to mm. me on this doing all this goofy ass like that's just not me. I love y'all and hey man, I pop up and live or if I got motion, if I'm on tour and I am on this every day right but if i'm just around the crib like going through it paying bills chilling with the kid whatever i'm Look, not on this the, <laughs> the tweet about it. to talk about bro like i'm not you know what i'm saying like or if i'm in jamaica kicking it like i'm not posting bro like i'm kicking it i don't no. give a fuck about this bro like you know so like speaking of that bro. you about to you about to go on tour you want to yeah, i'm going on tour in july bro yeah you, you, how you you do Dolo, you just dropped the tour dates, right? Yeah, man. So July, Dolo, me versus me. That's why I called it me versus me. I had to do it. Yo, Dolo. Yeah, like that? Cause again, I'm I'm Yeah, no, like, right, so that's like, so crazy. So I was just talking to him about this. And it's funny that you brought up like that middle ground. So I'm in the middle ground, right? Mm-hmm. So like you had the middle ground where you got some people like right below you, you got some people right above you. But you know, don't ever wanna work side by side, you just wanna reach work up. up. And, yeah. So like I be trying to, I, 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 cause I don't give a bro. Like mm-hmm. wherever my gonna end up is where my gonna end up. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. not gonna go do the extra to kiss ass or goddamn these said photo that. ops and all this bullshit just to goddamn Facts. get to a certain point that I think I'm supposed to be. Nah, all right. So like, Facts. we was trying to get my on the tour. I didn't want to go out by myself. And you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And at the same time, like, once the project dropped, the project gonna drop like right around the tour too. You know what I'm saying? Like. It was just like, hey, man, every time I've been dropping, it's just been getting a little bigger, a little bigger. That's just how you man. work, right? So, like, I reached out to a few people who I feel like, oh, yeah, man, they might. Well, we on the same level pretty much. And who do you consider, not, not saying who you reached out to, but, like, yeah. again, just so I can get an idea, who you think comparison of, like, is, like, your level of artistry, I guess? Bar-wise? Just, yeah, I guess. In, in Atlanta? 
Nah, like let's just say just so so we don't have to name nobody specific. Like, oh, okay. Would you say like a a West Side Boogie? Is that where you are compared to like know, Boogie, your Boogie, career? Boogie, um, Boogie's bigger than me. Okay, for sure. so who would you say? If you can name somebody, I probably wouldn't know. Um. Uh, with me being middle of the road, uh, man. Sometimes, well, would you I say like Sadie Hendricks? You know who Sadie Hendricks? I've heard of him for sure. You would know you say saying? that's like, or you don't know? Yeah, maybe so. You know what I'm saying? Where you have enough to have like a a, a strong little cult following? Okay, but you ain't yeah. necessarily just got. Yeah, that's him. Going, yeah, that's yeah, that's, I mean? that's like, for sure. I give him. So it's like that. You know. Okay, what I'm so saying? you're reaching so, out to people like that, but or even just like on some motherfuckers who I know like not as big as me. You know what I'm saying? But like they got a buzz and shit, but, okay. like. Be waiting on a home run. I ain't trying to get the second base. I'm trying to put that I work in. Trying to get the second base. Yeah, exactly. Like they want the grand slam off rip. You know what I'm saying? So like, with that, it's just like, bro, you know what, f- it, man? I, I'm still f- these nigga, but like, I'm going out here by myself, bro. Like, f- it, I ain't doing all that. How many people you project to? Now I'm just getting uh, know about four. Point. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe like four people, five. <laughs> Got it. Psh. Be like, you know what I'm saying? How many people you project to come to your show? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> like. No, no, we did uh we uh we did smaller venues this time, so like I think the biggest one might be like two something, two hundred something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's but, still but, hard though. But really on also every night maybe like like one fifty type like which is bro, sometimes you gotta humble yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like Jid, my dog, me from East Atlanta too, you know what I'm saying? But like I watched his go from you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the first show after Dreamville and shit, like, and I watched this shit. I just was at the last show, then got goddamn sold out. Uh, you talking about J.R.D.? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Nigga sold out, uh, what was it? what was the venue here? Coca-Cola Roxy, two nights in a row. Might have been three nights. That's, like, downtown, right? Uh, uh by the uh, Battery. Yeah, you know oh, no, saying? that's by the uh, baseball field. Okay. Yep, okay. so, like, but before that, you know what I'm saying, it was the loft, and it was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, like I said, I ain't going for that grand slam, bro. Like I'm just, hey man, That's niggas, hard. whoever when my they coming, like bang, 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 bang. I work my way up to it. You know what I'm saying? So, so now I'm just curious. I'm just, we just talking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, not to be all in, and give me ballpark numbers if you can. How do you like? How is the money? Because I'm assuming, okay, you got to pay for the travel. Mm-hmm. Do you, you got to pay for the venue? Well, see, sometimes nah. Well, you can get guarantees with the venue. You know what I'm saying? Depending on. What you mean guarantee? Like a bar guarantee or No, no, you get guarantees. Like so like once you got a little name and people done, oh yeah, he did he was on this tour, he did this, he did this, last time he was here, he did this. Mm-hmm. All right, bet. You can get a guarantee. You know what I'm saying? Then if you sell out you get more. Oh, they will pay you. Yeah, they pay you. That's hard. Oh, yeah, damn, you get that's a guarantee. Hard. So like you go on before you even That takes a little stress off a little bit. Road. Kinda. But then you gotta think about it. Like you said, travel, hotel. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. And we be thugging it, so we don't spend much money. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, it literally be like me, my, you know what I'm saying? Like, the cameraman, you know what I mean? Like, this is how yeah. we doing it. We like three of us, four of us. That's hard. We don't got down with hand on merch. You know what I mean? Like, so we still like doing that, like, how, how it used, used to do back in the day, bro. Like, Damn, so, that's fire. but nah, like, you might be the role pending. I mean, without merch, without selling them, without putting merch in there, I mean, I ain't leave that bit with like 20, 25. But that's just me, and that's on a small level. So imagine you doing it on a big level. And that's But, but even with coming up on a on the green ain't bad, though. Yeah, you should come up in the and green. And then you, you you probably, you do the merch play. Yeah. And you probably you probably gain some fans from me. I yeah, love, you, you always gain it. fans with that, bro. And then if you get you a good sponsor, like a Bel Air, or, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody going to talk, they going to got them sponsor you some liquor, McQueen yeah. and the Violet. Oh, they gonna sponsor mm-hmm. you, sponsor you some liquor. They might throw you some bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. So, we probably can get you some bottles. You said they did that last time. Oh yeah, man. I was. I, I, I had. I was. At, I went to the spot and man. Uh, How many oh, bottles they give you? They were shipping us bottles. Um, yeah, my said they probably can. They, do we that. left with like three. They shipped us some. What's the spot in? Uh, they spot in Soho, bro. We left that so, bro. It was, bro, it was fun though. It was like damn. Nah, bro. Damn. This like, is hey, so in the videos. This is hard, bro. Like just even like you being so open to like give me game because I ain't know I knew it was like that, but I didn't understand. Nah, yeah. Like, bro, damn, bro. That's, the bro. tour is crazy, bro. Nah, it's, it, it, bro, it's, it's dope. Bro. What's the what's the like the best part about it though? Mm, I think I think I've always just been like just like the travel, bro. Like so, just being on the road, and being on the road, you know, mm. camaraderie with your goddamn team. And 
But like, honestly, it's the fact that music is the reason that y'all doing that. Right, you know fact, you used to dream for shit like this. Yeah, That's bro, crazy, for real, crazy, bro. For real. And I still be a little brat sometimes. Nick, my be like, man, y'all ready? Y'all ready to go on tour? Like, how you feeling? I'm like, eh. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I be like. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but those times hit when we'll you like, oh, thank God. When they hit, bro, you just like, yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. Then you music. can't. We're human. So, like, yeah, yeah you say, bro. like, the, we said we're doing 200 venues. Like, it's still because we're human, you want to grow. It's still parts of you, like, man. Of course, right? You wanted to be a thousand people. Of course. That's, that's just the, you feel me? Like, you know, like, that's the dog in you. That's how exactly. it's supposed to be. That's how you're going to get to exactly, a thousand. You bro. know what I'm saying? Like, and eventually, you kind of just like, bro, you just, you just learn to take the, the small wins. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to take all wins, bro. Like, mm. can't just be so locked in, focused on something that's not happening right now. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to, like, this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know is who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. How was that for the family, though? Uh, How long you be gone on for tour? This time I'll be gone about a month, so I won't be as long. That's but, not that bad. Yeah, I'll be gone for about a month, but that'll be all right. That'll be all right. That'll be straight. But on the longer times, like how, how did, how's that usually for the family? Mm, same old, man. That's straight. You know? I know it got to be hard. <laughs> you got, you got a newborn or? Nah, nah. I got, I got a... 11 year old and a five year old. No matter how old it is, I know it's hard. Yeah, man, it'd be straight. <laughs> Family they, is hard. Like, they got phones and shit. You know what I'm saying? The first couple of days be rough. You know what I mean? But like, they got phones, bro. Like, it's cool. They don't be tripping. They you still know, with your lady? They know what they're doing. Huh? You still with your lady? It, yeah, kind of. It just depends it's, on how, like, yeah. uh, if it's like that your lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My lady, that shit is yeah. hard. Bro. My lady, for sure. Like, so yeah, nah, like, mm, that mm, shit mm. crazy. Mm. Like that's 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 the craziest part, cause then it's like that's when like just the human side of shit kick in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, yeah, you gonna miss a motherfucker, but then you got thoughts. And you ain't necessarily gotta be an insecure nigga to feel like, damn man, I'm gone for a month. Imagine a nigga who gone for three months, just like, man, bitch, what you been doing? No, <laughs> no, I mean that's real though. I feel like <laughs> it's funny that you brought that up because I was just talking to that about Tia. Like niggas have feelings. I think what makes a man, a man, right? And we talk about superpowers and right. like being a dog or whatever. Like, what makes you really that nigga is understanding that you have feelings yeah, and being able to control them. Hey, bro, you have to. Because that shit is hard. You it ain't to. easy. You have to. And the crazy part is, bro, it's like sometimes you just, you got to be the villain, bro. Like, mm. And it's like, you have to. You have to. Motherfuckers ain't going to understand it. Mm, you know mm, what I'm saying? Mm. You ain't even going to understand it. But, but subconsciously, you have to be the villain sometimes. So sometimes you do have to, you know what I mean? Hey, bro, I'm sorry, yo. Can you turn this light on? Mm -mm -mm. I'm, it's right here, it's right under you. I'm tripping like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I'm looking like my man ain't glowing like he's supposed to be glowing. It's right here, it's right here, it's right here. It's right here. It's, 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 uh, yeah, talk to me. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, my man ain't, there we go, you feel me? Like, why my man not glowing? Nah. Like, Bruce Leroy. Like, Bruce Leroy in this bitch. What's wrong, MJ? I'm like, yo, my nigga, I'm like, I'm looking down, like, what the <laughs> fuck? How long have we been going for? Like, shit. Damn, my bad, it's bro. All fucking, it's all good. This I is, did you dirty without the this glow. This the lit part. This the lit part. Nah, literally. <laughs> literally. literally. But nah, like, when, it's crazy that you say that because on the come up, and I feel like I could talk yep. to you because, like, I feel like we similar yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Being in that middle part is like, you don't you don't want to be the villain because you know you're so close to, to the right, top. Right, And, like, you don't want to burn no bridges. Right. But once you learn that, like, true, like, love or, like, loving yourself, and hate, I hate to go there, but it just is what it yeah. is. When you really love yourself and when you really become who you are as a man, right. you understand that everybody not going to like this version of me. Exactly. In this moment of my life. Yeah. And although I want I want everybody to love me and, and, and understand 
who I am, yep. everybody not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, man. You ever had a badass breakup with a bitch? But then I say about four years later, y'all y'all still just text her. should text her and tell you about her shitty ass, her shitty problems and shit. Mm-hmm. Right? And you just kind of like, damn, I, back in the day, I feel like we wasn't never going to talk again. Based on how that shit went, right? Facts. Right. But we're here we are, right? Like, mm. because at the end of the day, bro, like, it's phases, dog. Like, you, they going to get over that shit, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to be, hey, man, I ain't going to lie. I'd rather a motherfucker have hated me for a, a point of time than to be an old ass man and hate myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mm. ever want to look in the mirror and just be like, yeah, nigga, you fucked up. That's crazy. It's you know? crazy you say that because I told my girl this. Like, my, me and my girl been together for five years. And, like, it used to always sound, um, like, insensitive at one time. But I had to, like, understand what I was saying at, at a moment. But it was, I was like, I would never put my girl in front of, like, my career. And it sound harsh. It sound harsh. But but at the end of the day, if I was the if I was to put you, and I, it's times where I put my girl over my career, right? So like that's not yeah. a broad statement. It's times where I do. Yeah. But in a and in, in it's in it's in its entirety, I could never do that because if I did do that, then I would resent you. Yep. And people don't understand that. Yep. It's like yeah, like I would if I if I don't I get it. It might look like I'm doing, but I love this and this is my this is my passion. Yeah, this bro. is the, this is what drives me. So if you take this away from me, right, um, hey. and I replace you with it, then I'm gonna resent you because I have nothing that exactly. I have nothing that with nothing else that drives me. And exactly, like people need to understand bro. that. Exactly. And that's real. That's why it's like, bro, you really don't date, don't date chicks that don't got no friends and shit. Mm. Or just you know what I mean, no drive about it. It's like you definitely not gonna understand what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You definitely not gonna understand, bro. Like because at certain points you just. That shit just comes in your head, bro. It ain't like you been thinking about it and shit. It's just like, you just know. No, You're like, no. All right, no, I, I know what will need to be done in order for me to goddamn get to this, this level. So no, you gonna, if you're going to be in the way. Yo, you, you, know you said something earlier uh, about M. Like, niggas grew up on M. You're right. Mm-hmm. But I'm curious. I feel like in the last past, it, it ain't. it's not 10 years. Definitely not 10. Last past five it's years. Been, it's been 10. But it's been a sneaky 10. The, the five years. What was, you think I'm about to say? The just like all the goddamn the just the disrespect and all that shit, right? Damn, he went right there. <laughs> and it's crazy, bro. Right and the crazy there. part is, bro. That's crazy. And the crazy part is, bro. How you do that? <laughs> that was crazy. It's like, bro, I know, <laughs> bro. It's been a sneaky ten, bro. Right? It's been ten. I feel it's like it's been a sneaky been 10. ten. You know what I'm saying? But then the five, just because think about this shit, right? You got let's say if you 19. Five years ago, you was 14. You might not even have been on social media, right? Mm-hmm. So now you got this opinion, and now you're you young, and you just going to say whatever the fuck you want to say because you're listening to goddamn whoever, the NBA young boy, whoever the fuck you listen to. Mm-hmm. So you just kind of like follow popular opinion and shit. And you ain't just took the time to go back and study right. because you're not a rapper. Mm-hmm. You a nigga going to fucking high school and shit, just listening to whatever the fuck you listen to. Mm-hmm. So like... And like that shit, bro. Same shit that we kind of would do for a Big Daddy Kane and them niggas. Mm. They was cold, but we got more respect. Like niggas our age got more respect. Where it was like, we ain't finna just trash Big Daddy yeah. Kane, nigga. But like, even even if we ain't listen to him. But even <laughs> you know, no, it's man. funny. But even we don't even have to go that far. We can we can we can go in our generation, right? For example, Kendrick Lamar. Right. You wouldn't. I don't want to say never because people are doing it, but they know it now. From 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 people like me, I would never just be like. Kendrick ain't shit, even if he ain't my cup of tea. I can I can acknowledge right. how good he is right. and still understand that that's not for me. Yeah, man. But you'll be a fool to not acknowledge how great that man is. Man. If you like it or not, like bro, you're crazy. I'm telling you, bro, I feel like the Eminem shit just be like, like a, it ain't even really popular opinion, but it's like a false popular opinion. Mm. Where they're just like, oh, yeah. And then, and then sometimes you have people back, you have a nigga back and then be like, yeah, boy, that white boy wanted to dish. Blah, 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 blah. It's like he white, and it's like, nigga, what the fuck? They gotta do with anything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I was, I almost fell into it at one, at one point because I was like, was he really that good? But he was. I'm like yeah, my childhood. Nice. Yeah, bro, he's nice, bro. bro. I was a Fifty Cent fan, and I'm trying to tell For you, sure. <laughs> my childhood was. Am I? I've been patiently waiting to make it through all that hate in the bait and wait. Yeah, <laughs> right. Look, look, like, they hey, let you lay on the table with a hot 
I'm trying to take they think they crazy they ain't crazy. Let's face it, basically they just playing shit. They ain't shit. You can't act like you wasn't you didn't know this shit, bro. You feel me? No, fact. Turn this day in the fucking man. You stand with me. Don't let me lose you. I'm not trying to I'm just saying you threw you a Zuzu. Like, come on, dog. Like we we knew this shit, bro. We knew this shit, bro. Like, so I feel like niggas just niggas really just be tripping. But it don't even matter. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That man got them Sheesh. a legend paid rock and roll of fame. What? What's yeah. the debating for, nigga? Nah, you right. It's like, remember what I told you? They gonna debate the Kobe's and the LeBron's and the Jordans. Hey, man, these niggas already paved their way. They made their legacy. Facts. You Ain't know what I'm saying? We, it's, I've came to the point, honestly, bro, as, <laughs> as I got older, bro, to just understand that they gonna hate the greats, bro. If they hate you, then love it. Just it's, smile. Hey, they, it's it, nothing you can if do. If they about don't it. hate you, then they don't give a fuck about some, you. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> like, something wrong. Yeah, something like wrong. they're going to hate the greats because it's like, bro, why are we debating LeBron and Jordan? These niggas I'm sorry, in two different eras. Nigga, they're never gonna. You're never gonna see them play together. But it, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. Both, <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm not, maybe because I'm not a big basketball fan, but. Even when I look at people like Tom Brady, like I'm really like I appreciate being in this era to see it. Yeah, to bro, be honest, we saw that. We saw that. Like bro. we, saw, that bro, was that greatness. Like if I was in nigga. Kobe era, I, I mean, even Kobe. Yeah. But if I was in Jordan era, like that's special to just witness. Dog. Like, and a lot of times, man, we we take it for granted just because we facts. fucking spoiled human beings, bro. We don't witness like we we witness greatness, but don't even realize the shit. Mm. Niggas be clowning LeBron and shit like, why you gotta clown LeBron, my nigga? Like, that's LeBron James, nigga. Like, Thanks. this nigga played 20 years in this bitch, nigga. He's still throwing buckets at 38. What are we talking about? You know what I'm about? saying? They got four rings, whatever, billionaire. Nigga son finna be in the league. He did everything that niggas That you should wanna to do. do. Come on, dog. Like, I like I, like I, I literally, <laughs> like, I used to be a, I, I used to root for the underdog, and sometimes I still do because I, I feel like I was same, an underdog. Same. But at the same time, lately I've been rooting for the, the winner because I say that because like I see that in myself too. Yeah, dog, you gotta respect it, man. Yeah, it's you know like, like I'm gonna be tall. Like I want to be tall, Brady. Like, Tom like Brady, nigga, dog, six, I want to see him go out with another one. Exactly. You know I mean? Even if I know he not. You, you feel know me? Like, like it's like man, it's cool, bro. Like that's you know, crazy. You let us see Steph get another ring. You know, I seen him do do his thing, bro. Like he's a he's a legend. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he's doing his thing. Speaking of legends, bro, you had you actually had him in him on a, on his track. Damn, man, Royce the five. Damn, man, Royce, yeah, bro. Like. It was a, uh, it was like a full circle moment. It was like one of those shits. Was like this the biggest songs that I'm ever done. Really, be like, mm, mm, mm. and I and I kept it like hip hop. I didn't try to go for the goddamn bop. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? I got. I, I'm still in. I'm still on the label. Like nigga, I'm doing this one for like rap. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like so. That I had wanted to, be to like crazy. rap. Now. Oh nigga, I wrote. I ain't write the verse, the verse multiple times. I only wrote one verse for it, but like, I was so meticulous with that shit, bro. Like, cause it's Eminem, mm. he gonna rip you apart regardless, almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I just wanted to goddamn at least set it up where I'm getting the, the Eminem that I that I'm hearing on this track type mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Like, so I was like, all right. Yo, speaking but, of like ripping niggas <laughs> apart on songs. We just heard Dirk talk about how like Cole killed him on the song. Yep. M. <laughs> so, this might be an unpopular opinion, and niggas probably hate me for this because I'm a young fuck. I don't care. Fuck y'all niggas. I always say I'm an old nigga, but in this case, I'm a young fuck. Nigga. <laughs> How are you wilding, right? <laughs> he, he like he is hitting it on the one, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Listen, Ether was fire hands down one of the best. Yeah. One sure. of the best um disc records yeah, ever. Yeah, we know sure. that. But we can't ignore bro, Renegade book. Right. So uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, over time, over time, like, I've had different opinions. Yeah. Sit sit down. <laughs> <laughs> no nigga Jim, man. Sit, oh, you take want a, more liquor? Take a seat. Why you nigga, it was right here. That one. Niggas, come sit down. Oh, 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 that's on me. That's on him. That's the watch out. You want some more? You want some more? You good? What you trying to do? Nigga, sit right here. We got you. We're going to pass it to you, man. I told you. We we, we, we professionally unprofessional. Yeah, like, yeah, I saw the nigga open the beer can. So you might want to stay over there because you might be you might be in the shot, though. Oh, your legs, long as hell. Yeah, yeah. But we'll pass it to you. He right there. I'm right here. We got you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That nigga Jim was opening that shit like, 
he opening a beer. I'm like, nigga, just pop the bitch open, bro. Guys, we outside now. I mean, it's lit. But, but uh, yo, nah, bro. I'm you telling said you. Was, you was, so you like, was back and forth. Uh, back down. in the day. Like, back in the day, bro, like, as a kid, I was like, damn. It was M's structure. It was the way he structured that bitch, bro. Like, that mm. was just like, oh, fuck. I mean, since I'm in a position to talk to these kids and they listen, I ain't a politician. But, like, you had to literally slip right that nigga shit down. Like, oh, shit, hold on, bro. Like, he what crazy. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, but think about that. He had to, bro. Who he on the track with? Jay Z, yeah, my nigga. Like, he looking at that shit like, oh shit, nigga, this might be the biggest track that I've done, nigga. I'm on Jay, finna be on Jay Z album, bro. Okay. <sighs> nah, bro, because you gotta think about it up to that point. Yeah, he was, but you gotta think about that shit from a respect level. What year was this? What, Hip hop. Well, I don't know. Uh, Blueprint was like 2001. What well, same year to uh 911. Oh, okay. So, so this like, 2001. So. So M was big, yeah. But, like, but you gotta think about it, bro. Jay Z, he grew up on that shit, bro. Like Eminem okay. was trying to do this shit okay. when Jay Z was popping, nigga. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. for him to goddamn get that, get that now. That's like right now, right now. If I'm just like, if Cole like, hey, bro, I want you on the album. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. oh fuck, I gotta. You feel me? Like it's the same type of shit. What, being a lyricist, right? Yeah. In those moments, are you cause? <clears throat> I only started thinking about this when I got older, but I was never thinking when I was listening to music back then. I was never thinking of somebody killing somebody on the track. But now that's been a mm. thing for the past ten years for sure. Yeah, and I'm starting to hear like people like, "Man, Eminem kills you on the track," or like, right. or, "Are you thinking of that?" Like when you making these music with these bricks um, and shit. Oh shit! Like when I'm trying, when I'm making some shit, it depends. Or even on when like, you got a feature. So like, oh, a feature, any feature, I'm just, I'm trying to just kill you, like really. But I'm trying to do what's best for the song too, though. Mm. So like, a lot of times I like to at least hear the hook so I can hear like, is the hook fast or slow? That way I know that they'll go in slow or fast. Like, what should I do? Uh, I know niggas don't like sending their verse. I send my verse out. Mm. Like, if I'm sending, if I want a, a, a feature, I send my verse out because I want what's best for the song. Most niggas okay. don't send a verse out because they don't want you to have it up on them. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, but I'm gonna I'm just try. I'm gonna try to get your ass regardless. Regard like if, if it's a feature. Like, so if I'm what, jumping on your shit. I'm trying to kill you. What you think about like? Like what about the uh, Jay Z God did shit? I feel like I feel like what you think? Yeah, the nigga had the best verse of the nigga rap for two minutes. But I, but yeah. that's I was I was going there like bro. First of all, it's like I don't want to say fair or not because life ain't fair. But what I'm saying is like it's like if they gonna do that, if they gonna get at the J, at least give it to make it a a, a six minute song. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, where like, everybody like, got them getting that shit off. Because really, Save, talk if shit, Wayne. Man. Had an extra minute. I ain't gonna say he was gonna kill him, but I'm just I'm curious to nah, see sure. how Wayne would have sure. delivered for sure. Because the little bit of time he had, he snapped. I, bro. I thought it was great. You feel me? And he, it was like right before. Cause Wayne is a Wayne is an infamous goddamn. Just like bro, Wayne can go for bar. Wayne can go for bars and bars and bars, and he gonna have pockets where he just really get into it. He was like, oh no, nah, bro, this. Like he he might have had what sixteen maybe yeah. you know what I'm saying but like and he still yeah no nah, he killed that shit but like you know I think Jay Z rapped for like he was saying some real shit he was you know what I'm saying like that's my nigga that's one of my favorite rappers but like we get to social media and then social media just start running with that shit what you what they were saying social right. media get legs man like and them niggas just run off what they the were saying shit. about the J verse and the best verse of the year and just maybe Jay Z's best verse ever and I'm just like all right all right niggas like okay, it's a I great verse you know what I'm saying like it's a I, great I really verse. like the verse it's a great verse but you know what's funny it's a great people verse. gonna hate me for this he he gave me that verse maybe one or two times before yeah I got it before bro like you know what I'm saying people like, gonna hate me for that like, but nah, if you really it. listen to Jay Z. I didn't heard the, yeah, bro. I didn't heard that verse a couple times. Yeah, Not the bro. same exact yeah, structure, nah, but sure. he set the, like a few nah, things. Sure, I'm bro, like, like for sure. But he's, I think that at this point, bro, like maybe I just feel like that's like the gatekeepers just trying to like, you know, just trying to like keep certain shit alive and shit mm -hmm. like, and just kind of like start to start kind of like cause the friction that's gonna okay. like start that fire yeah, where, yeah, where yeah, niggas right. like you heard the whole, whole verse. I just read some shit about it. Like I it loved it though. No, Even still, sure. I heard it. I, I'm not going to lie. It just felt, maybe because I'm older now, it just felt like, this is me, nigga. Yeah, like, no, I gave sure, 10, like, like, you feel I me? Feel like, it, I came back in my 10 back. Like, I feel it, bro. Like, and, uh, that's, how, that's how it is when you hear a whole verse. And he's he's like, yeah, bro, like, whenever a whole drops and shit, bro, I'm, I'm, 
I'm gonna listen. You, know you ever hear anybody say that about your a verse, one of your verses? Hell yeah, that shit gotta <laughs> trip you out. It be niggas like, dog. It be niggas saying shit. I done had niggas like crying. Sheesh. And I'm just kind of like, I don't think I would ever cry for like man, like my favorite rapper and shit or whatever. But like, but I guess I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but niggas be like, maybe they're passionate, so they crying. Mm. But yeah, no nah, niggas how about they uh, save their life or they relationship with their pops or just you know what I'm saying or, or sometimes it's like nigga that verse was so hard blah blah blah, blah, blah. it ain't even gotta be like no sentimental shit behind it but like yeah no nah, I get that shit bro and that's another thing that's like yeah man that's what I do it for like niggas yeah. you know what I'm saying it's just that respect that respect that you got now that, ain't it crazy how it changed over the years right like you start doing a rap because you like it yeah it man cool. and then it changed like man I'm trying to get some money then it changed like you know what man fuck them I'm the money gonna come bro like mm. as long as you genuine you doing what you got down Facts. you know that's like, crazy don't be out here faking in this shit you know what I mean do what you, do what you love to do bro and that shit gonna come nah that's a fact and it comes you know what I'm saying that's it's it you getting that right people saying bro you didn't Mm -hmm. Save my life and shit like that, right? Did it ever hit you where? Because we know a lot of artists say this, like, man, I'm not no role model. I'm just a rapper, yeah, right? Yeah. But heavy that head to wear the crown. To whom much is given, much is right. You know what I'm saying? Much is required. So it's right. like, did you did you step into that phase of like, damn, I really gotta be careful what I do now because I am, I am a role model. Yeah. Nah. I got anti hero, anti hero tatted on my fucking legs. All right. <laughs> I look at it like this. Like, I have a a, a moral compass. Hmm. So I ain't finna just get out here and, like, I can rap about, like, what I'm gonna do to a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. But I'm not just, like, I'm never, I'm never, like, just, like, it's always, like, nigga, pretty much, like, if this is what happens, like then this is what happens. So my shit is reactionary. Mm. Violence mm. to me is reactionary. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got no reason to slide. So you was never that nigga that's doing anything anyway. Nah, like, like on some no shit. Like shit. I don't have to. I did that yeah. shit when I was young. Like right now though, like what what I what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm rapping, nigga. Like it's reactionary, mm. right? So like and that's why I'm fifty to eighty percent of people are strapped right now. Mm. It's reactionary. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ran up in this bitch right now. You getting smoked, right? Like, nigga got them. You going to your car. You going to your car when you leave this bitch. And you got to see a nigga just like, what the fuck this nigga doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, he walking. He getting smoked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't just out there. What I'm sliding on nigga for? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm 34. Mm. You feel me? Like, I'm I'm out of that. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? I, I got through it. You know what I mean? So, like, my shit be reactionary. So, right. like, when I talk about certain shit like that, Nigga, that's how I'm living, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Self-defense, nigga. I'm trying to live. I don't give a fuck about all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, where other niggas come to realize, like, oh, damn, man, I'm I'm the I'm the aggressor. I'm antagonizing. I'm I'm starting this shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't the shit started, nigga. I'd rather end it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like younger niggas kind of, like, be on some shit like that. So, no, like, thanks. where you got, like, a young boy who kind of, like, finally realizing, like, oh, man, like, the shit I be talking about, the shit I be doing is affecting these people, these young niggas. Like, nah, I'm always the voice of reason. But I ain't just the voice. I ain't the turn of the other cheek. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I'm a voice of reason for sure. I'll make you think before you pull the trigger. But, but. You ain't going to turn the other cheek. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I ain't turn the other cheek. As you shouldn't. You shouldn't either. But I, but don't turn the other cheek. Like, don't. I ain't Mark. I ain't Martin, nigga. I'm more so Malcolm, right? So, like. Okay. If we gonna talk this shit, we gonna talk. I'm gonna I'm tell you everything. I'm gonna tell you, goddamn, what's wrong with us as a society. You know what I'm saying? Our community, like just like I would talk to my son, nigga. If I had a son, right? So like, I'm a, I'm like that, bro. Like, but at the same time, bro, you know what I mean? You gotta, hey, you gotta make it home. Mm. So that's just more so what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a fact, man. Bro, this is I think um this is like two days in a row now, man. Like just these good conversations that I'm having, and I, I was telling uh. Uh, Tammy yesterday that like these are these good conversations are refreshing because it's like not sure. everybody can hold this is the regular oh, yeah, like yeah. we ain't even like just, yeah, just, right, right, just right. chopping it up bro right. like it's so much shit in this industry shit like and it's That's funny because you hear it right, 
you hear it, but like you don't really understand it. You just say it because maybe other people right, say right, it. Right, right, but right. I get I get into it, and again, I'm like the shit I'm complaining about. Thank God that I'm here because I wanted to be here. Yep. But now I really understand it because it's like, bro. <sighs> this shit be high school, bro. <laughs> this shit high school as hell, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, nigga, the industry. So all of this shit. This shit, this shit is the same industry, bro. Like, it's weird. That shit be so high fuck. school, bro. I'm just like, I be thinking, I be wondering, like, damn, like, how do I come off to, how do I come across the niggas? Because I be feeling mm-hmm. like, niggas must don't fuck with me or something. Cause, like, I be feeling like, bro, how am I coming across to niggas, bro? Like, cause it'll be like some shit. And you always get the shit where niggas got now, you meet a nigga. And I ain't even gonna name drop, I'm not that type of nigga, but like, you'll meet a motherfucker and shit, and nigga. She be cool and shit, and I man, hey man, take my take my phone, take my number, bro. Like, and I don't even usually reach out to niggas, but then you might reach out and you like, nigga, they never they never hear nothing back. Like, bro, bro, why would you give me your lame, number, bro? bro just not give me your lame. number, bro. Just, just be like, nice to meet you. Then That's see all. him again, see him again, and then oh, kind of like, bro. nigga might even got down like, look at you, kind of keep it pushing, like. You lame ass nigga, bro. Like, but I ain't even on that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like to me. I just be like, you know what, bro? Like, I expected that shit from from this nigga. You just look like you was corny, or whatever. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh my god, like, bro. but it's high school, bro. It's, it's high school. It's so just weird. I, I feel like the quicker that you realize that and realize that, yeah, you like it, being in it for self isn't a bad thing because being in it for self is like you in it for the, your manager. You know what I'm saying? Because your manager yeah, in thanks. it for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey like, man, you in it for family? You know what I'm saying? Friends. Like you gonna be able to goddamn do, and f- for the most part, nigga, you getting to do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of times, I get down on myself and shit. Just like damn, dog. Like I'm not where I want to be, but then I'm just kind of like, ah, but maybe I am where I want to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I be chill. I ain't gotta go clock in. Like I'm chilling. I got them. You know, I can spend some money. I got a few toys. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I got them. Me and my niggas can do this. You know what I mean? My bitch can do that. Like. I'm actually good, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't be tripping. I think that sometimes we just get so caught up in just like comparing. I was bo- and, you know what I'm saying? No, we like, or we think it. We were, <laughs> what's, what's going on? Because in my mind, I'm like, yo, what happened is I was going to ask you, can I be real? What happened Bad, is bro. we get caught up in another nigga shit and we don't belong there. That ain't, yep. that ain't, that ain't, that ain't none of our bro. business. That ain't us, and that's you know what, what happens. Like we get caught up in the next nigga shit, exactly. and, and when you real, you can you can acknowledge this. And a lot of niggas be yeah, fake, bro. and they be like, you they get, saying they you not. Get caught up in that shit, bro. You it's get easy. caught up in another it's nigga easy. shit when you don't belong over there, and you it's get to easy. thinking other shit. When bro, I was telling my girl, we be struggling, and I like I be like, you know, you know, we life be lifing, right? And I had to tell my girl, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, it might be hard, but this ain't that. What it was? It ain't, yeah, bro. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> it could be a lot more this, worse. It's like, strange. it's hard. And we got to acknowledge that. But this ain't what it was even a year ago. Nah, facts, bro. Let's make a toast to that. You know, like, for real. Facts, like, bro. so. Small wins. Mm. Like we said, you know what I'm saying? You celebrate the small wins, bro. And like, and that's what it is, bro. Like, Man, that's all this, you can do for real. Facts. This is great, bro. This is amazing. Nah, really, I, well, I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Again, I said what I was saying, like this is one of them days for me. It was just like one of them days. I'm like, man, it's just crazy part tough. is, bro, every time that you feel like that, not bro, not every time. Nine times out of ten, shit gonna go better than what you expected it to go. Mm. I believe you, because that be time, ha- ha- hey, bro, that's ha- that has happened on multiple occasions. It'd be times where I'm like, man, I don't feel like going to this dumb ass podcast. Fact, you know I what I'm believe, saying? Yeah, I can believe it. Then, and then you pull up to the shit like it's a vibe. Just, work out, bro. Work yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? So, Damn. That's Thank a you. good thing, bro. It always bro. it always be like that. This mm, shit is mm. fire. You know what I'm saying? Loose conversation. Niggas just talking. You know nah, what I'm saying? And like, I, so. I got to know you for real. Like it's, yeah, it's, for it's, sure. It's, Same. It it was it was dope. I'm, I'm bro. I, I really like. I wish you the best, man. Like, uh, man, I, I appreciate um, it. Same, bro. Just even like looking at the interviews and looking at the comments, like you really got people, like you really yeah, got man. a follow- Like you got a real follow. Yeah, like, and that's uh, the thing, bro. Like, and me, like I said, sometimes you gotta get out of your own way, bro. Like, feeling like, oh man, 122 comments. Just be, hey man, nah, bro. Like you keep that, you rock with that shit, man. Like, cause those are people who care. Mm. They care, and eventually, maybe it's 700, 1, 1,200 comments. Like where you can't even remember or decipher the the first hundred people who was always commenting on your shit, but they there, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, so like, it's a beautiful hey, thing, me, bro. Hey, let me 
might follow you right now, brother. Cause this I shit, mean, like, I same, think bro. I did, but it's just, it's just, it just feel, it's just too. Yeah, it's nah, too nah, genuine. for it's sure, bro. Real shit, bro. Like, for and real. I'm, and I'm fucking with your whole campaign, bro. Nah, I appreciate it, bro. For real. Um, I guess I would say tell people where to follow you, but it's just, it's simple. Fuck it, grip. <laughs> grip, I mean, uh, grip on IG. I just got you too much. Ah, right, yeah, no, I got you. Grip on IG, grip underscore SS on Twitter, and uh, grip on YouTube. You just um dropped uh, uh five and the fuck five you. and the fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I dropped that when I was on tour with Boogie Six Project. Uh, I mean the yeah, six, six Project yeah. and just like Zone Six. I did some research. I know a little something. Yeah, bro. Zone Come Six on, Six Project. So I'm about to drop. Uh, I I'll tell you when is when when this shit dropping. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You know when all you right, wanted so to drop, you could tell me. All right, cause so I got yeah, a lot in the tub. This shit that I'm about to drop is like the deluxe. <laughs> so okay. it's called Still Five and the Fuck You, but it's another eleven songs. So Who you like, got on there? You got somebody? Nobody. Oh, you wild. Me versus me, nigga. No, he I told you. Shit. He talking shit. I told you, nigga. Like, hey, I ain't mm. waiting when you in that middle of the road, nigga. You got niggas. You who... gonna drop that in the middle of tour or? No, this tour only a week. month, so first week. Mm. You gonna do some merch on tour? Yep. What's always. Like, what type of merch you doing? Always gotta do merch. Uh, it's gonna be some five and the fuck you merch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Some shit with some middle fingers and some rebellious looking shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Some caution shit. I don't know. Some shit. That's but hard. Yeah, you do that. Um, sometimes you do vinyls. I, I don't know if I have vinyls by then, but uh, posters, sign them all. I still sign shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. So like, you doing the, um, the meet and greet with it? Some some of them got me in Greece for sure. Yeah. yeah, some of them got me in Greece. Some of them uh-huh. don't, but yeah, a lot of them do. So like, but regardless, and I feel like this is another thing. I kind I kind of got to got them step away from that. Like nigga, I be at, I be on the show. I get off the stage and go. I mean, I be having drinks at the back. You know what I'm saying? So I might just come back out in the crowd with the drinks and shit, and just niggas just look, nigga. It's grip, <laughs> you know. What I'm like niggas is literally tripping out, you know what I'm saying? And I just hang with it, hang with motherfuckers, walk through the crowd, That's hard. drink, you know what I'm saying? Like and enjoy the the rest of. If I, if I'm not the headliner, I enjoy the headliner show. But niggas be walking up to you and shit, trying to take pictures and shit. So I've always done that. But That's I think hard. I'm getting to the point where it's like, all right, man, it's, it's your ass backstage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and, yeah, facts. You know, just do that shit like that. So. I That's gonna tripping. be hard. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm man, I can't wait to. Nigga, I catch a show, man. I ain't doing Atlanta, unfortunately, this time. Well, um, what cities you got? A bunch of them hoes, like seventeen. Um, but I ain't doing Atlanta this time, man. Which ones you doing? Up, uh, like, <laughs> what? Atlanta, Atlanta be tripping, bro. What, what you mean? Your own city be tripping sometimes. Oh, bro. I can see that. Of course, of course, you know that. Yeah, nah, you know how I go. <laughs> Come on, you know that. I got Calgary, Alberta. What's Lynn, that? What was? That's in Canada, nigga. But Jeez. don't worry about that one. Linwood, Washington, Eugene, Oregon, Los Angeles, San Diego. San I can Diego, see LA. San Diego's fire. Um, Colorado Springs, Denver, Austin, Houston, Dallas, Houston. Springfield, when you Madison, know Houston? 15th of July. Yeah, nigga, Austin the 14th. Uh, damn, Dallas 16th. Uh, Springfield, um, Madison, Wisconsin. You doing anything close? Chicago. Columbus, Brooklyn, <laughs> the closest might be motherfucking Texas, nigga. But nah, we gonna and then we doing yeah, adding Reno and um somewhere else. But nah, the closest might, literally might be fucking. Chicago. I just want to check it out, just cause and I told you I don't fuck with niggas, so I just want to. Nah, you gotta pull up somewhere, bro. Like, I got you. When you get there, you ain't gonna have to pay for shit. But like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Like, for sure. I know. Nah, I, I got you, bro. And but and we might add Atlanta. Just depend, cause like. They 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 don't fuck with the shit till they till they feel like they missing out and then it's like what? Yeah. what you know what I'm saying like I, mean, you can, I feel like you can get Atlanta you can niggas be in. like no Atlanta like shit nigga last time I was here I ain't even said a motherfucker out how the fuck I'm not gonna sell out my hometown but I mean you know I told saying? you it don't it sound like I, I I can I'm I would almost put I would put my money on you selling out L A oh man last time I did L A last time I did L A boy it was was you there Jim? Nah, you was in Chicago, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, you was at the L.A. show. When I would did. bet nah, nigga. you would sell. I nah, would bet nigga. you sell out L.A. Hey, man, these niggas was so smacked or something. Right. They're just like. Oh, it was hard. <laughs> it's like, a hard crowd? L.A. is notoriously tough. But So I don't understand the hard crowd if, if you're paying. I know. You, like, if you're paying <laughs> for me, how can it be hard? I'm just like, like, the fuck? Nigga, like, niggas is. Posted, niggas just standing here. Y'all niggas just want to stand. 
Yeah, niggas. They probably I don't know, niggas high, high as like, shit. That sound like you just came out there and just slow your raps down, like. All right, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo, y'all niggas tweaking, but yeah, it was cool though. No, I, I love, I love all of them. You know what I mean? So this I'll probably cool. add some Atlanta shit, man. It'll just be at the end of it. Well, even if I don't come to a show, definitely like just like we can just just catch up or whatever. I don't nah, care. for sure, nigga. I ain't never said this shit to nobody on camera. Nah, hey, like, man, but nah, like, for real though, bro. Yeah. Shit's cool. If you can make it to at least Chicago, bro. Fire. Chicago, goddamn, bro. Chicago Fado, you know, and it's a short flight. How far is that from here? Chicago, yeah. a flight. Three hours. Chicago about three hours. That's not a short flight. That three hours, mean. two hours, that nigga. That shit might be two hours. Be oh yeah, cause New York two hours. If y'all put ATL, I definitely pull up, man. And I told you what I said before. I said I don't go. I don't fuck with people. Yeah, something. All right, so that's why my, that's why the that's why the the the, the tour ain't sell out. That's why the show ain't sell out. Cause the album release went dummy, nigga. Mm. I ain't seen that many people since fucking high school graduation, man. I'm like, ah, damn. I see a nigga like, man, bro, you did it, bro. I ain't seen this nigga <laughs> ten you years, it, nigga. Like, shit. You made it, bro. Yeah, right. yeah, and then so niggas didn't feel like they had to go to the okay. show. Okay. So you know, but nah, man. Man, again, I appreciate this. is refreshing, man. Uh, Same, bro. Grip everybody, uh, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. This shit was great, man. It's a wrap. We out.